Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching. In this video, I want to show you something I found. I, it's been out there since San Diego, but I just now ran across it. And that's the Content Library Portal. Okay, so if you're using IT asset management, software asset, hardware asset management, the professional um, SKUs in ServiceNow, you've got these workspaces. And I haven't covered the software asset workspace as much as I have the hardware asset workspace. But what's neat, what I didn't know about, is this little portal or content lookup. And you're kind of seeing it on the screen behind me. This is um, the stuff that you can actually look up for software asset management. So in theory, if you wanted to come in um, and just search the content library, right? This is something you subscribe to. And let's just say we were looking for Visio. So I can search for Visio, and then I get this really nice search results page where I can come in and say, oh, you know, I'm looking for the one that's published by Microsoft and um, I can see some results there. And you know what? Let's go change the search and let's type in professional because I'm looking for Visio Professional. And then I can click on the one that I find and I get all the software information for that particular um, title. So this is the software product of Visio by Microsoft. We see all the different versions now. So 2002 through 2003, 2007, 2013 all the different product life cycles that ServiceNow is tracking for that, right? Remember life cycles, I did cover that in a video, is about end of support, end of maintenance, stuff like that. And then the publisher part numbers for that particular title. So that's the search feature, which I thought was pretty cool in and of itself. But you can also come in here and you can just browse by category. So if I wanted to view all the software products, inside of the that's been downloaded from the content library look at this i've got 320,692 um, products that are being tracked in this content library and then i can of course go in here and i can filter and search and stuff like that same kind of thing you just saw me do earlier and i could do the same with the publisher part part numbers so I'll just hit view all here. And this one's amazing. I've got actually 2,951,659 um, different part numbers that we're tracking in service now for these different software assets. So I thought this was cool and worth sharing the content library portal. You're gonna get to this through your software asset workspace. Stay tuned for Tokyo. I hear the same's coming for hardware asset management. So you'll be able to look at the hardware stuff in the hardware asset management workspace. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody you think might be interested in asset management and service now. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.